Today we meet two phenomenal women who have dedicated their lives to our communities in the health and wellness sector. We start in Limpopo to meet Sister Yolanda, who runs a mother and child clinic in Louis Trechat, to learn about her business and service offering. We then move to a small mining town called Creel in Mpumala to spend time at Creel Occupational Health Care Center with the owner, Dr. Lee Indy. Both these entrepreneurs join Martin to shed some light on how they plan to grow their businesses, respectively. Lack of medical equipment and poorly maintained medical equipment are at the heart of our crippling state medical infrastructure. Well, I think um, the health industry in this country is poor. Um, basically, from the hospitals, especially the public. Yeah, if you are critical ill, you still go to public because you don't have the resources like medical aids and such things. So they can improve that by making our public health care sector to be good. In 2011, total spend on health was 248.6 billion rands, generating around 8.3% of the country's gross domestic product. Stay with us as we explore this industry further. She will be standing in for Pepsi. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> They say the wealth of a country is determined by the health of its nation. With the public health system under severe strain due to limited resources, private medical services play a key role in bridging the gap. My name is Sister Yolanda and I'm the founder of Mother and Child Clinic. The service is provided at Mother and Child Clinic. It's your baby wellness clinic where we do your immunizations and we advise on breastfeeding. We also do your women wellness clinic where we do, we put women on healthy eating plans. We also have contraceptives, which is your family planning. Mother and Child Clinic can be found in Limpombo, in Louis Trichard. We also on Twitter, at Sister Yoli. You can also find us on Instagram, where I give lots of advice to women and their babies. Business <laughs> Sawo <laughs> 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 There is a huge need in Galana. Oh, Mamma, and Abantuana, Fanilo would be traveling to almost 102 kilometers. and and just basically breastfeeding care, ya ma'am. But now we have to talk to health education. So we need a solution. We need to go to the clinic. 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 
Today we're just coming to talk to you guys, okay? I love a girl child because I'm a girl as well, right? I'm a lady and we are here to talk together and advise each other, okay? Yes. So I want to ask a question. Tell me, who what's a sugar daddy? Okay, a blesser. What's a blesser? A blesser is a person who is uh, much older than you and uh, maximum um, more than five years. Uh, who's, who is old enough to be your father, who will um, provide you with uh, things that you need, more like money, taking you to cruises, yeah. Mm -hmm. In exchange to in what? In exchange, some, it's an exchange of a girl's vagina. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, it's good talk. We girls, we need to be open about these things, right? It's in, in, it is in exchange of sex. Okay, so today we're going to talk about that. What we're saying is that we want to empower you girls, ne? that with your education, you can do anything in life. Okay, first step is to get your matric, right? And after your matric, and then you decide what you want to do after that. Nowadays, we say open your own business. What are you good at doing? You can start anything. milestones So basically, Jungle Boost Bonnie, Tombe, or Mamma Bacon, Bonaga, Lutok, Unu Bonnie, Mela Benjani, my sister Mani, up until six years. Okay, now I just want to see what did they do with the growth that you were so worried about? They actually just took it out and okay. then the doctor said, No, he'll send it back if he sees it's something else. And then when he came out of the operation room, they said that the growth was only like a tag, so okay. it wasn't inside and good enough to send anything back. Awesome. Praise God for that. That's so awesome to hear. We found out by his brother, um, and they said like, you you must go to um, go go to Yolanda, this is to Yolanda, because we were actually like pregnant in the same um, time. They were, uh, I think we were three weeks apart. So they said, no, um, uh, I think you should go to Sister Yolanda. She's very good, and especially that, that you can know what to do because I was very stressed. Um, so, only business self and Jenga lady. Go to Gara in Go and Gingbonati as Sungula in the Fanajing clinic. Have you an Intel Lulaga call? Uh, go to the final two is Miss Was good in the Funukens. Time frame about six months. So we have a cash flow from zero to about six months. We have to pay the rent for seven months. We have to pay the rent for seven months. We have to pay the rent for seven months. We have to pay the rent for seven months. We have to pay the rent for seven months. We have to pay Okay, like me, I'm going to nursing. We saw South African nursing council, so we're going to tell you to get this and get registered. I best of all, we're going to collect the nurse. If the nurse basically is going to be your, we're going to get patient. My team is always if the nurse is about to be in for the or mail, we're going to be going to get the bill. Yeah, I get that. We're going to get a call and go to the space cat saco. And Gabon and Omsu is going to be going to Gabon. We're going to be patient. I'm going to be able to get the puma. Eh, kuche logo kwenzayo kutoa ge. Kalau teruk sih, 
Usaluen zum sebenz so bona ne studio tim. Gabonga ga cool sia. Eh eh. We're not in business for philanthropic reasons, right? Yeah, we're in business for business. So we need to know: is your business profitable, or is it not profitable? Agnigazigo um muntu guze abona matuba akona langa pand, um maguza, gozem fund, nezum sevins. Yizagana lentogazi lena ikulele to lopen ilnan, itiona, angege kukule luto, gemvela piao, futina la puma con. Sita to uhambo, sala pegua zulu nata, lapocona sito sene num de nuayo gelentogaz. Lapocona ba pin de baschella gengo gutim vela piabo, ebinjan, ba pin de football gusana natin go gutu gunjani, calis catilis, mishio mawa. Safety is always guaranteed for you as a child. Primary school, we are going to learn how to play. 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 We are going to very jolly, yeah. And besides, the British is gonna go places in life, and ebe 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 papa. The woman and the was still alive. Girl, she's cut. The woman and the ekaya. Although even though Babu Street, Babu Street, and Amanda Street Street, so Babu Street, Motia Gupu ya Gupini. But the woman and the because Nanga Bonu Gupu Suba Baba Katenza Ugu Ti Uba Muntengon Mthabeni. If Fu Baba Benga Kwa Street. I'm born to go to Bengizoba. Let's see more English. Eng eng go so kona man. Um, Osis Bami, we were very close. Osis Bami, especially Lawa Shona. So some of them Lawa Shona, but Lawa Shinga is old too. But um, we see the we see her through her kids. And in the Echablisayo. Oh, Mama was shown as a simon, so irishly relationship among us, but my Kulu Mayena. We are so good, they were very, very close. Why means Elizabeth, the Safunda Hithoni, Umam Nanwit, Yolanda, we mentor Yetu, our role model, and Sam Sony Paga Kulu. Guessing his cats, he's a little bit strong, but in the idea of counseling. Bereavement counseling, but you know what's gassing and gassing is saying, Bengi Luguti, knowing he right and be strong, finding what's in against the show, what's in Gansa was you cool, Uputamumane, a cool and I know Susan Fuch Omtal would see Sanga and Sibe, a mapella of strength for Ruba because Baba was a broken man during that time. Rotangana and Yolanda. Where it, it was when my friend was supposed to come visit me. And then, hello, Dubai, or the Ashuka Amisa, where he's supposed to get off. Ngi Sangane no Nomienwami, go 2003. From the very first day I saw her, there was just this chemistry. Maybe it's the love at first sight that uh, I knew from day one that this lady, I'm going to marry her. She's a very good mother, very good mother to her children and a good, a good wife to her twin daughter, Yaki. I like the most is that she cares about us. And she says we must love each other forever. Kwa tando mde noa mi njongo banje sisi kaya na msanje, ila ingi fila kono gusi ingi chapli like a pool because we we give bonum day. And muku ge wala sege loa. Umamu lasi kila usisi, uyabonu guti life is so short that you need to appreciate each other.
mother and child care has a good defined business model. Uyo landa, utiga yenaga ufunugu njondilo bali isake i business lake, la paili utrikati, nase kuhuli. Nchienga manjo sa studio se tunu watu wano ndlebe no martini. Ukuza mkazele gabanzu kuti ima pige amasu ana woyena, la wazo msiza kuti business lake li njondilo bali. Sanbona sing figure la ima studio se making moves. I'm so happy yet so so nervous. Guys, we to having his phone and I'm trying to get the banana no Martin. Hmm, and guys, no more to see. You in the zoo show. Get the chablin. Often, when a business is growing steadily, the temptation is always to expand to other areas. Yolanda is here to talk to me about what she's done well to grow her business and why she wants to expand to Houting. Welcome, Yolanda. Lovely to meet you. Hi, good to meet you too, Martin. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, Yolanda, your business is currently growing very, very steadily. What have you done to get it to this point? What's the secret? I think my personality and also being able to retain my patients. I mean, my patients are my, actually, my, they do my advertising because they do word of mouth. So I'm good to my patients and my patients come back. So whatever I do, I charge them well and I also give them a great, great service. You do quite a bit of, of, of community service where you, you interact with the, young, with the young ladies within the community. So the girls, where you go and do, is it motivational speaking? Yes. Or is it, is it more of, of guidance? It's more of motivation and guidance yeah. as well because I work more with, with the school kids and then I also target teenagers who are born with HIV and AIDS. I see. So that's more of a guidance and also just leading them into the right direction because most of the time when you're in your teen years, you're so confused and you don't know what to do mm -hmm. and your parents are always like your worst enemies. So it's so good for somebody else to come in and actually mm -hmm be a parent that's not actually a biological parent. Of course, so you're more of a friend to them and you know, all of those, all of the, all of the nice little things. But my concern here is that you spend quite a bit of feel, time out in the field doing this. What direct impact does it have on the business? You know, for example, contraceptives. Yes. That's when it comes in, because teenagers, we am actually targeting them. So I get to get patients from them, teenagers come, come to me. And I mean, when they go home, they're like, you know what, mommy, we've got a baby in the house. Let's take our baby to Sister Yolanda for vaccines. And also, if there's someone that's sick, the first person you think about, it, Sister Yolanda has a clinic, clinic let's go there. Also, because I have a husband there, so he, he has a GP practice. So it just makes it much better. We treat the patient holistically, and that's when they can refer people to me as well. Are you profitable at the moment? <sighs> Tough one. It's a tough one. Ouch. It's I'm a tough sorry, one. but it's, it's a necessary question. It's We're not in business for philanthropic reasons, right? Yes. We're in business for business. So yes. we need to know, is your business profitable or is it not profitable? I'd say I am. I have improved. I'm not yet where I would like to be, but I have improved from the first year. Normally in social enterprises, we don't make as much money as, no, as the big corporates, which yes. is fine because we're happy with a small margin. Yes. But we also need to be unapologetic that we cannot offer services for free. Okay? Oh. You're emotional? Yes, I am. It's okay. I am. That's fine. Yeah, I am because, um, like I said, I always do things from the heart. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It, and, and don't stop doing things from the heart, but just revisit and go and see how you can actually put those into a commercially, mutual commercially beneficial state. Now, one thing that I need to chat to you about is the expansion plan. <laughs> what's brought that about? Or what's the, 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 the driving force? Okay, basically it's because most of the gynecologists that I, when I was training to do my postgrad diploma, they were actually also studying to become specialists. So they're specialists, I'm also a nurse specialist now, mm. and they all want my services. Like, Yolanda, we've got patients here, there's a huge need, and there's a market for you. So what I've done is that I've established a rapport with another sister, she is willing to leave work and actually join forces with me and start the clinic here, but okay. still baby steps. Okay. Are you sure that you are ready to to do the move um, and that you've maximized the expansion avenues within your current practice. 
And I want you to I want, I want you to think about it. When we've not perfected our the avenues that we currently need to within our current areas, expansion could be detrimental. And the way I see it, currently you've not maximized the, the avenue of expansion as yet. Mm. Do we agree? Yes, we do. And thank you so much. You, yeah, it's making me think about a lot. So, so with all of that said and done, mm -hmm. um, well done on your business. Um, you've done great so far. But I always say we're always open to learning. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, Yolanda, I'm going to be sending you to one of our excellent coaches mm -hmm. that's just going to work through a few of your challenges with you. And together you guys will, will, will iron out those challenges and, and hopefully take your business to the next level. Oh, thank you so much. It was really great spending it. time with you. Thank, thank you. You, oh Martin. Okay, yeah, And there is there is a huge lack of a marketing strategy because you've got you've got the capacity to just to to, to progress faster than what you are right now. Yes. to get a sense of what your biggest challenges are in your business currently it's with advertising and marketing basically with advertising as medical professionals you're not allowed to advertise in your mainstream advertising mm -hmm. platforms so that has been one of my greatest challenges mm -hmm. and also me being everywhere you know I find that I'm I'm the nurse the sister in the in the clinic and then I'm an expert advisor as well I find myself in another province doing ex expert mm -hmm. advising and I also find myself doing other things that can grow the business as mm -hmm. well so I'm, I'm everywhere okay mm -hmm. great what I think she needs to do to separate the, herself from the different operations is getting people that are able to do what she does because and you want to expand but you can't do that when you're the person that's going to run the operations you're the person that's going to be the nurse and then you're still the brand ambassador of your product trying to get different platforms to market your business even more. It's just not gonna be practical for you to do that. I love my patients a lot, but I'll try. Just to let go a little bit. The challenge that you're having is how you're going to market your business so that you can get more traffic into the business. Actually, a lot of businesses grow better um, by knowing how to talk to their market within the communities that they serve. And there's a number of ways that one can do that. One, definitely social media, looking at the different platforms for it, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever platforms your market is, is on. Social media works very well. The other thing that you can look at is events. Having events allows you a nice platform where the market that you want to serve, that community, can all come to, an, to, to a venue, and then you can actually talk about your services where you can make it an educational ven uh, event, where you're educating them, and in that way you're marketing your services, but without actually doing, you know, the normal advertising. Because already the expert advisor, so why veiling games? You could see, you mama speaks cool about my vaccines, for example. Normal breastfeeding, importance of breastfeeding. And I mean, if I'm hosting those events for free and I'm giving out my, my business card, Obviously, it's a toilet, but about three, four from that session. No one is going to tell the story better than you. And your company has been acknowledged for it. I mean, you've been winning awards because of the brand that you are. And the business would not be what it is without you being behind it. So I love the idea that you know that you're supposed to be, you know, the person that is attracting the market. Then you need to step out of the business. Then somebody else needs to run the operations. She is a nurse, and she started doing this thing because she's a nurse. 
but now she's a businesswoman and a nurse. So she has to allow herself to bring in more business so that more people can be impacted. Because why she's doing this is about the impact that she's creating. The last thing is your expansion strategy. Where do you want to go next? Johannesburg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Johannesburg, because this is, this is where we all think this is where the money is at. And this is where I also feel that I would make a better impact because already I do have support system from the gynecologist around me. Yes. You know, so I think that this would be the next best place for me to be at. Okay. So, definitely great move. However, I would halt making the move now until you have definitely maximized on your current area in your current area in mm -hmm. Limpopo. I would first make sure that you have completely maxed that, that you've got the system right, that mm -hmm. you know this will run on its own without you. When you know that you don't have to be in it to run it, then you know you've got your model right. That's when you can step out of the business. Yo, a coaching session I'm having and business coach and a mentor. is a small mining town in Mpumalanga. Yet, Dr. Lindy saw a gap and chose to open her practice in the town. Sikrita usugula pae business in lake zifuna uwazu utibona benzani. Sapinde futi satola ituba lo uti sikotu sane na laba besi mami. Asebenzi sana nabu la pagle li business. Sifuna uwazu uti imu pige lo msebenzi dona wonga kwa wengo megayo aba wenzani. Hello, I'm Dr. Lindy Mokwena, a qualified occupational medical practitioner. I'm the founder and CEO of Grill Occupational Health Center. Our services include the following, the medical surveillance, which is the medical uh, screening for fitness to work, occupational mobile clinics, travel medicine, and also wellness management. You can find us on www.grillhealthcenter.co.za. Our Facebook is Grill Occupational Health Center. Nzibengkita <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 Occupational 
or Uguti, no Maso Sebenza, Mangabeko, and Mahazat or exposed Gi or Jangabota, Sinabo, Insindo, Yon Kintes in Jalo, send a show Uguti who fit Yawaz Uti, Umela and Allah Mahazat and Sebenza. Age, Nagosia Kulmaria to hotel, Kitela Bona and Kinto, who comes to Wonki, Alagupi. Okay. This is our reception. This is where we read now Palisa Corner. Then from here, Bagnesa is a document. This is the document that they give you. Mm -hmm. Then from here, we go to the test. All righty. And Gabby, in the Lago, seven to seven, can be good to us. We have a band of good bars and table. E corner in the range in Alana Ekril. Okay, you see a profile of Mining Weekly. Yes. Spin the foot to see seven to say Facebook, the website, the two. I word of mouth. I am trying to make a job. I was to client to as a After rediscover our own grill occupational or a or assistant, medical wellness. Then rather decide as the the company or recover the grill occupational health. Over the next hour, Ronald Lena, he he will be entering the ring. We have another one. Ronald direction is about. Ronald Ronald about that. Then after Ronald about that, we have another one. Then I will then I assist. So to what Ronald Lena, you will always want to go back because service is right. You are not complaining if we are mutoga, we are available. Lona Unomsa, he was a, she's our medical technician. Uzo Jelang a procedure go to Kambaganjani. Yes, I go and do the test. So the end of it blows me. Okay. So what you have to do, Mele Utonzo Moya from Assistant Guru. Ufage, ufage the skin. Yes, so you have to take a cool. You start to sit and see when you do this step. Donza. Blow, blow. Take it out. We're using high technology equipment. We see my test way to uh are close to correct? Because there's nothing that is hundred percent correct, but at least it's close to what's happening in your life. Total. Sumula lily business lack of Nabuga Gunita e do laga cool footing in the team back all over masculine as a male. It's a key way, machine is in the Zinjalo, a cobay malin bonk is a clang. A cobang would sing a fear go one point five million. One point five clans and a building, no clans and a little is beyond a little. Eh, Malinga will you do she yellow? Yeah, in my equipment, the Wisman Seven and Longa Tenor and Manega Mane, yeah, in Lu, obviously, Natata Ilo, Ilo, Nepenki, a fully lend you. But we expand our seven similar pieces. My secretary ten daily man in a while. I've been saying I expand for the comfort of my client with. Okay. Uh, I met Dr. Lindy in 2013, ka October go Expo, Midrand Expo. Then uh, we took it from there. I'm a diagnostic radiographer. Actually, we I take X-rays for prior employment, post-employment, and during employment, This is Dileka, medical technician here too. He's a when I test it, because I'm a procedure to cover a range and mount the test. So what we do first is color see it in a for in a for okay. hygiene reasons. Uzo vala so isn't lebene. Yes, it will start from a left, is a right. Okay. My color, t t, you just press it once. Okay. Ne? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, cool. So, this yeah. is your baseline. Okay. Mm. So, my 15th year. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to
Ogunye full team or sign off about to go to fit or uh, by coffee, mm -hmm. and then you know, put a foot over now. I'm injured on duty. Yes, the work with the hotel of his catacle, a criminal clue like I am. Singers now we sing sing shine the lag. A formula means a janitor. Number, yes, I'm okay. Glue like a talk. But then you'll sign out. It's born with your feet, you know, my I'm pretty too much to pay. So you're spending 15% on marketing, 15% on running a business, 70% of being on being a doctor, and that there is no way you're gonna get business like that. Doctor Lindy's teenage years were filled with mixed emotions. Pela gelent oga zilena ya kulisa ukokuwai. Jongo baga ba zalba kege bona bebe chesi betut. Jo bebe sebenza ema maim asua suyen. Utokta lindige futi wa ebamba amato ho asua suyen. Keskati sama holi te umanga be ikolos value. Logo kwa wenza uguti asi zoma waki. Kukulisa ingane zagu. Sasa vagashela umdeni wa kege la pa ekai. La pogo na sifuno ugu asiga banzu guti lento gas. Ingu munto onjani umingi akimse benzin. It was fine, Moba. I think we are going to change our routine. Jalo, aha, we are going to stay mellow. We are going to be things of our own. We are So, give me the the wind to let me enjoy our cool routine. So, so, the mango and the citrus, we are going to be in the green. The sibita we are going to be in the pink. Since we are cool, we are going to be in the band. And the school, we are going to be in the small plains. Um, we are going to be in the cool. We are going to be in the corner because we are so high in the spirit. She's, uh, like I say, a very loving woman. And uh, like her name, she's very patient as well. I sometimes support and peace job. So sometimes we go to my house, 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 my Sabende <laughs> She's taking it very, you know, very well. Although she's a very busy woman, as you've realized, uh, and uh, she's not at home full time, but she tries when she's here to take care of our son. Dr. Lindy. What does she do? Make people better. How? We do things that makes people better. And she uses her x-rays to check people's bones. I always wanted to be a doctor, a medical doctor. I was born in the hospital. I was born in the hospital. I was born in the hospital. Bebu ngabang ngono if bega na lok si tira gwenda we SIT so bla ko kala ko na kuti kambi na logo na yingo lenga tende la yon na kuti kubega mpilwe. We are trying to enforce wabanya bantu abanige ugut na wabas kupule ba 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 be pezul so muntu o o ezenja lo kakuluga zigim ugut na min kupule ni ba muntu bantu ni nizmele ba min. Then sons are born in the band, the band, the especially Mangi and Amino Consult and Bonaboto, the Labani with Baba Chitanja and Bandu, the Naming Avona, which is long and sons are going down over Tangin and Jalong in Sangana Neband. Ulindi, Uti and Agangal is cut to say in Gan. By a chase, a funu was guessing desert to us again. Foot, cut the Asgabans, Uti and Umakul, or Funu about the hotel. Gamba would take a seven days in occupational health officer. 
ila poko kona ge na wabo na guti aga tate lululazi anak apinde lege la peto nope na gubu la poko kona ge futa sungleli pisnis laki el tutugi sa izimpilo zom paga tu wa gubu jenga manjo se studio se tuto kusana nati ugo sche la guti ke uhambo lafu leza ma pisnis lubenja Na mutlangla el studio sasa making moves ndo attend a interview about my business. I'm so excited to go to bank parceleni. Look down and I'm covering say business to me. I'm covering in Don Robert. Dr. Lindy followed her childhood dream of being a medical practitioner and going back to serve her community. The business is solid with an established clientele. The question is, what's next for Creel Occupational Health Centre? Welcome, Dr. Lindy. Lovely to meet you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Please have a seat. So, your business is doing quite well, Dr. Lindy. Well done. Thank what you. What is the secret? What have you done? Uh, it is continuous marketing, persistence, and also uh, keeping up to date with the latest information that is required for occupational health. Okay, yes. fantastic. At the moment mm. in the business, mm. any challenges? Uh, at the moment, the challenge is to market the mobile clinic that we have because we only utilize it twice a week. So okay. we need to uh, at least get it uh, to be utilized at least five times a week. So that's the only challenge that okay. we have. Tell me a little bit more about the, about the mobile clinic. The mobile clinic does the, all the screening that we do at the medical center do the pre-employment, the periodical, the exit. I see. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's an off-site... Um, off-site medical. Centre. Yes, yes. So instead of clients coming to, uh, to the medical centre, centre you yes, can you actually take... Them, yeah, and in any remote area in the country. Okay. Is yeah. it only into the employment sector? Yes. It cannot, it cannot go into rural. I mean, I just it know that... It can go to rural, yeah. I, I'm, I just know that we've got great challenges in terms of screening yes. for... It for can, yeah, it can also go to rural. Okay. Yes. If you had to look at this mobile clinic, mm -hmm. what was the absolute main reason for you procuring it? Uh, it's because we used to get a lot of leads from clients coming from far who wants to do medical screening. Then we thought, okay, yeah. maybe the mobile clinic will help because they can't come to yeah. Krill because of the cost. Yeah. So if you go to their areas and then it's more convenient and then they don't lose on production time okay. as well. Yeah. So what research did you do to, you know, prior to purchasing it uh, to ensure that, you, that you're maximizing um, the investment? There was no research done. It okay. just happened that, okay. yeah. Okay. So, so, so you do understand that in future yes. we need to look at at, yes. at the research side of things because yes. that would have eradicated the scenario that you, you know you could actually be using this vehicle um, in other areas. Um, exactly. and, and what it basically tells me, Dr. Lindy, is that there is there is a huge lack of a marketing strategy because you've got you've got the capacity to just. To, to, to progress faster than what you are right now. Yes. So what is your next big step in the business? From taking it from where it is right now mm. to the next step. The immediate step firstly is to get to appoint the uh, marketing personnel and then from there we can go to those national footprints okay. to the remote areas of the country. How are you going to ensure that the guys in the other provinces are going to duplicate what you're doing in your practice? Uh, I think it's with the business question that I'm attending, it will put systems in place that can be replicable. So that's what I'm just hoping on. I'm not 100% certain that business coaching is going to cut that, okay? okay. And, and processes. Yes. Because you are the business. You're going to have to find a way to duplicate what you want to the other provinces. Yes. Okay. okay. Our next step is, is to put you um, with one of our business coaches. Yes. And uh, they'll help you just to iron out a few of those challenges and, and assist you in taking your business to the next level. But well done. Thank you it's so really much. really great. Thank you. It's very inspiring to see what Dr. Lindy has achieved with her business. But Making Moves would like to see the business achieving even greater things. Therefore, we've organized a coaching session for her with a seasoned business coach to discuss the next big step for her business. 
interview ami ihambe kahle kakhulu lengile ngifundzile ngebusiness ah njoba ngiya coaching session yamnyalo lengikulindzela ukuthi i coach ingifundzise kabanti ngale ngale marketing so that ngi understand and i understand ne goal yami lengifuna ku reach ukuthi i want a national footprint ukuthi yini fanele ngiyende ukuthi konke ikhambe smooth The problem about the business to me doesn't feel like it's it's marketing. Mm -hmm. The problem to me is that you haven't decided which role you want to play in your business. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so at, at this moment, you you are heading the organization. Yes. But you still want to be a doctor in the organization. Yes. So you spend in time in your business instead of spending time on the business i think lucas has highlighted everything that i was always worried about especially that um, i want to do everything for my business so the diagnosis was just spot on she cannot be playing both the roles so she needs to take that decision and say i am a doctor or i'm an entrepreneur now you've got two mobile uh, clinics that are working only two days in a week each yes so they we can say only you've got one that is working four days and you've got one that is not operational at all that's now true. that's a worrying fact it worries me a lot or only the mobile clinic it's a two and they are not working because this mobile clinics there's a big need for them and again you are operating in krill yes and not far from krill you've got other power stations yes. and other coal mines that's true so for me is that don't look only for work that you can do around the krill area because mm -hmm. your opportunity may be 50 kilometers 100 kilometers away from that when you see that mobile clinic standing there it should bother you it does <laughs> <laughs> it does it, it should bother you mm -hmm. and and because when it's sitting there that's your money mm -hmm. that is not been collected she's got a clinic already she could be going into communities to do things like immunization to do things like uh, perhaps uh, a maternity health or female uh, well-being and that and do such things in the communities and that because the communities are battling the resources are not enough to take care of the communities uh, when i get home i have to make sure that i just visit those companies and then the Department of Health and make sure that they know about my business and what I can offer. When Once you've taken fully that decision to either run the business or be a doctor, then get someone else that fills the void that you are leaving in one of the roles. But you cannot play uh, these two roles in that. And the fact that you have got these resources in that, in that business makes you a very strong contender in that space claim that space but to claim that space you need to get your systems right you need you need to get someone that's going to market this business someone yes. who's going to go and knock on the doors you don't have enough time to do it i will just make sure that the systems are in place as lucas alluded to and then also having that marketing person who's going to market the business that will help us to reach that goal